Please excuse the mess. Brought the, the whip back and I haven't had time to organize everything. So I just have stuff everywhere. Not really doing anything action packed today. Uh, just doing some minor things. What's up, buddy? Hey, there's a car? Yeah. Okay, we'll stop right there. Uh, back to what I was saying, because these fools are being rude. Um, had a code pop up with the power steering due to when my when my brother freaking ruined my arm. Um, we replaced everything, and when we went riding, my screen threw like a like a code for power steering. And I think it was because it was misaligned. My steering wheel was like like slightly crooked, and my tires were going straight. So. Uh, just to uh, unhook the batteries just to kind of reset the code and see if it'll happen again. I doubt it. We aligned everything. Everything should be good. Um, so, yeah, I was messing with my my dual batteries there and just whatever. But um, And I have my lowering bases that I haven't installed just because I haven't really had time. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, really like the Rock Ready UTV ones. We've had good luck with those in the past. We've ran them on multiple cars like that we've owned. My brother, dad, myself, other friends as, as well. Uh, they give a nice military discount, which I uh, appreciate them for that. So that's what we're going to get into today. Just do those two. And then uh, later on this week, I'm going to be heading to Corona Motor Works uh, here in Corona, California. And uh, those are the guys that build Jeffrey's um, Gaudi build. Uh, they do badass motor stuff. I just want them to check everything out, make sure my clutches are good. Um, that way I'm everything's ready for uh, my upcoming Baja trip with some homies in a couple weeks. And uh, I'm freaking stoked for that. So you start off by loosening these basic, just super basic things. Loosen those four, pull this off. You're going to loosen this, take this off. Uh, these are Torx, like two, what is this? Yeah. T27 Torx, then you take these, I believe these are like 10 mil, take that off, you're going to pop this slider off, uh, bring the new bracket on, kind of mount everything back up, pop some of these uh, cushion things back in, these little grommets, and really that's it, it'll recline it, um, and I forgot the degrees that it'll recline it, but it's pretty significant, and then it drops you about 2 inches, it reclines you like an inch or so, which equals whatever degree. Um, so yeah, it makes for a way better feel in the razor, especially because the razors you set up so goofy. You could kind of see what I'm talking about here. I think SDR does this bracket so far back, so for it to allow for like aftermarket seats to fit in and be able to recline nicely on here. And as you can see on that seat, let me see. Look at there's like four inches of gap, and that's because the stock seats are upright so much. So. Once I get these uh, brackets on and put them back on, we'll see how that gap closes. I think it'll be a lot better. I think Polaris just has excellent posture in mind when they uh, design these brackets, but that's something that a lot of people don't like is how you sit or how you feel in the Polaris. Can-Ams do a lot better job with that. These guys are just freaking morons. But um, yeah, Can-Am, you sit like a lot more lower, more reclined. Uh, more kind of like tucked in just gives you a better driver feel um, That was one thing I noticed when I went inside in Can-Ams too, but Once you get these brackets on and then once I finally get my PRP seats, it'll make the world a difference, but We'll see so yeah, I'm gonna take this stuff off and then we'll we'll get right back Here's the layout of everything. So I just got the two front the rear. I'm gonna do a bench So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. They sell obviously the back two as well which I probably will end up doing with lowering brackets as well since I got that little like delete thing uh, from Rock Ready as well. So instead of having cup holders all the way back like Polaris has kind of to continue this kind of uh, shape all the way back. So it rises a few inches back there so then it makes your bench like really really tight. So Rock Ready has this pretty neat little thing very simple just bolts in and uh, gets rid of all that back stuff and makes it look kind of clean when you put the seats on you don't even notice so um, probably will do lowering brackets in the back as well even though my son's right back there and they're tiny so I'm not too sure you know because they like to see over the doors as much as possible so might leave it might not I don't know we'll see pretty nice everything's powder coated and clean comes with nice instructions of course like everything else it makes it worth it when you get a sticker and you know nice little business card i was hoping this was a gift card but because it feels like a gift card but, but yeah pretty nice oh, oh. 
it's already took off the base all the little things that they require here's the bottom half of the seat there's the top half and I uh, just got a couple little more things to do and should bolt it back up and be up and running it's really not difficult I like it very simple the instructions are very clear and uh, shouldn't take too long maybe like 30 minutes a seat so there's uh, the passenger side all test fitted up so swapped everything over this thing they come with a new one just for the increased uh, height that this one has just all the stuff to make it work well that's all installed on the passenger side I don't know how much you guys can tell maybe from that angle it's hard to say like in the video kind of doesn't do it justice right here too you can tell I'm about level with the passenger and you can see that the driver's side is still higher the angle too it's kind of hard with the B pillar there but that's kind of what I was talking about too this gap closed a lot so you can see this is maybe an inch right here an inch or so and the other side you still have I could fit four fingers right there so that's what I was talking about the angle being way different you still have all the same features you still get to slide it and all that stuff too once you do aftermarket seats all this stuff gets super tight like everywhere like up here down here in the back so then it kind of gets uh, to be a pain in the butt to try to adjust them but really you don't really need I mean well at least us we're not like constantly sliding up and down or forward and back so I'm not really tripping on that but sometimes it can be a pain to adjust well got her done now they're both uh, pretty equal I guess if you compare them to the back I don't think uh, the regular S's I think the new pros have that stadium seating where it kind of like the back seat is t tiny bit higher than the front um, I don't think these like the regular turbos come like that so pretty sure this is an accurate depiction of what we did so you can see how high those are and compared to the top of the front you can see it's like slightly higher than the front seat so yeah I already got in it feels freaking great small little details that make a big difference in how you feel it's hard prepping for that trip you know like uh, there's so many things that could go wrong that you know you just pray that you don't have any issues you know you could break axles you can I mean obviously the, the big stuff tranny motor crap flat tires or cracked rims or you know rollovers all these things all the stuff up front tie rods you can bend stuff very easily and uh i'm just like i'm anxious you know to get going and freaking haul ass but then you know i gotta remember that i gotta make it back home in one piece so and it'll be just uh, my wife and i too so i'm pretty excited for that we always travel with the kids and we love taking them and we love the memories that we create with them but every once in a while it's nice to just do things ourselves so that's what this trip is going to be about probably remove all these all this stuff in the back that way we have a bunch of space for our uh, bags and whatever random cargo things that we got to take but i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see so see y'all fools tomorrow on our way down to corona motor works Rato Atos.